Hello YouTube friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing something similar but a bit different. Before we were doing the eat and recreate series where we would go to a theme park, eat some Disney food and then recreate it at home. Today we're going to be doing the watch and recreate series. Had to be twisted a little bit because there's a lot of craziness going on in the world right now. Um, Disney is closed because of the coronavirus. So I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy at home. Ruben and I are currently at home. Both of our jobs are closed. So we are chilling at home, trying to cook different things. And we were watching one of my favorite feel good movies, which I needed at this time, which is Parent Trap. Not the original one, the one with Lindsay Lohan. That's my favorite. That's the one I grew up with. My mom grew up with the other one and she loved it. So shout out mama, love you. But I'm gonna be doing the one with Lindsay Lohan. So it's a classic. I used to watch it all the time when I was little. I would always, I already knew what the dialogue was. Like I would even say it with the movie. Speaking of, for those who haven't seen it, these are some of my favorite and iconic quotes from the movie. That tall gangly thing, I gave you a fright. Whatever you say, Cruella. It's me or them. Take your pick. Them. T-H-E-M. Them. Get the picture. You don't know who Leonardo DiCaprio is? Shout out to this movie. Ever since I watched Parent Trap, I've been eating Oreos with peanut butter. It changed my life ever since. Thank you. And scene. So, other than these iconic quotes, let me know down below if you have any favorite quotes from the movie that I might have not mentioned or that I said. But other than that, this movie has always been part of my childhood. I always like watching it when I'm feeling a little bit down. So with everything that's going on, we are going to be recreating Chessie's homemade chili and cornbread. So first of all, I am dressed like her today. I'm channeling my inner Chessie. She was always saying about how she's gonna be cooking all these delicious meals. And one of the things she mentions to cook is her homemade chili and cornbread. Oh, are you hungry? I made cornbread and chili. Hey. I hear something about cornbread and chili. Yeah, it's on the stove. Now, the movie doesn't really state a recipe for it. I tried Googling it and nobody's really cracked the code. So basically, it's open to your own interpretation. However you want to make your homemade chili and your cornbread, you can. You can use your family's recipe. You can find one online. Claim it as your Chessie's famous homemade chili and cornbread. We're going to be using the recipe my mom uses for her homemade chili and cornbread. I love it. Whenever I would see Chessie cooking anything at home, I would always imagine it as my mom's cooking because it's my favorite. Be mom. So today we're going to be doing that. We're going to try to recreate it. I'll show you guys the recipe that we use. The ingredients are behind me right now and I am ready to eat. So let's get right into it. All right. So for our chili, we have our ingredients laid out here. We're first going to be starting with the New York strip. It's going to be cut into one inch cubes and it's basically two pounds. We also have a can of kidney beans, two cans of diced tornadoes. We have a couple of spices, chili powder, ground cumin, red pepper. We have two onions, minced garlic, olive oil, and the Newcastle. So you can use any type of lager beer and we only use half of it. Um, obviously you can do it without it, but we've learned that that kind of complements it really well. So here are our ingredients for the homemade chili. And over here we have the ingredients for the amazing cornbread we're going to be making. So we have salt, baking powder, vanilla extract. This is called cornmeal. Then we have white whole wheat flour and some brown sugar. Now we're just going to cut the steak into one inch cubes. Just like that. Ta-da! When you add two tablespoons of olive oil, and you're going to add the meat and saute it for about five minutes on medium heat. Now we're going to add three cloves of garlic, minced. Two tablespoons of chili powder. One and a half teaspoons of ground. I don't know, what the heck is this? Of the red peppers. And one tablespoon of ground cumin. And now we'll add one whole onion that's been chopped. After they've been sauteing for a bit, we're going to add the two cans of diced tomatoes. And then one can of honey beans. We can even see them. 
Now we're gonna add a lager beer. This is one of my dad's favorite Newcastle beer. Shout out to Papa. I don't know if I said it, but you're just putting half of it. Let's put it. Now we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna reduce the heat to low. We're gonna let it simmer for about an hour. And then we're gonna uncover it, come back to see how it is. And we might keep it cooking for 30 minutes, depending. You just need to see how thick you want it to be. And now time for the cornbread. We're going to be adding one cup of white whole wheat flour. And we're gonna add four teaspoons of baking powder. And then a pinch of salt. And now we're going to add one cup of brown sugar. <laughs> and then one cup of cornmeal. So as I was editing, I noticed that that so-called vanilla extract that I added was not vanilla extract because it was clear. I went to the kitchen and noticed that I put vanilla cream in it. So don't do the mistake that I did. Actually use vanilla extract. Either way, it came out great, but please pardon my blonde. I don't know what happened. Mix it in a bit. Now we're going to start adding the mix of the milk and the vanilla extract as we slowly beat it. And now for the final ingredient, we have one third cup or three ounces of butter. So now we have the mold. We're using a nine inch aluminum one. We just have to basically cover it with butter. For this next step, I have no idea how to say it in English because the recipe we're following is in Spanish. So basically, you just add some cornmeal to this and cover it up. And now we're just going to take the mixture and pour it in here. So cornbread's ready to go in the oven. It was preheating at 375. And now it's gonna go in there for about 45 minutes. And we'll check back on it later. So it's been a little bit over an hour. So the chili, we have uncovered it. We have it in low heat. And now we're just gonna let it simmer for about 30 more minutes. And then the cornbread is gonna be almost done. Three more minutes. Meanwhile. <laughs> Final product, we got the chili here. We added a little dollop of sour cream and some cheese. You can clearly tell which is the one with who has dairy problems and which one's the one that doesn't. <laughs> and then we have our cornbread here, a little bit of butter on top. It did not come out yellow. Apparently, spoiler alert, cornbreads aren't that very yellow. Yeah. So it still looks delicious. So we're excited to try it out. The reviews are in. What do you think? Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the cornbread? It's a little bit sweet. But I love it. I love mm -hmm. sweet cornbread. Came out perfect. Give me a second plate. Look at that. A happy customer. Mm -hmm. Animal Crossing in the background. <laughs> and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Just a little bit of a recap of what we did today. The chili came out great. We played a little bit with it after. So basically, it was cooking for the hour. And then as soon as that was done, we uncovered it and let it cook for 30 more minutes. It did get a little bit thicker, which is the way that we like the chili, so that's why we let it stay there for a little bit longer. And we did add a couple of it and more spices because we like our food really salty. That's something that we need to stop doing. So we did add a little bit more salt and stuff. The way it was naturally was delicious anyways, but we like our stuff salty. So it great, it came out great. And then the cornbread, as you saw, was not yellow. I guess I just thought it was gonna be yellow because that's the way I've always envisioned cornbread and that's the way I've seen it. This one, I guess maybe with the brown sugar, it came out a little bit more brown, but I liked it because I like sweet cornbread, except when you do it with obviously like cornbread that has jalapenos in it. 
then maybe not so sweet. Uh, I really like this one. It was really sweet. It tasted just like a little dessert, so I liked it a lot. So yeah, if you guys ever do this at home or recreate it, let me know. It came out really good. You couldn't even taste the beer, just in case if anybody was worried and they're not a heavy drinker or don't enjoy any beer. I hate beer and it gave it a really good touch, so I really liked it. Ruben really liked the recipe too. It's pretty easy to make, it's just time consuming in the sense that it has to cook for an hour and then 30 minutes if you want it and then the cornbread is like 40 minutes so it takes a little bit but it's still fun and delicious to have so again thank you so much for joining us today we shall see you in the next video which i'm excited we'll do a second part to this watch and recreate series we're going to be doing another one of my favorite movies spoiler alert it's a princess and i'm excited because we're going to do two different versions of this recipe we're going to do one that's going to be with a lot of dairy in it. And then one of them for me, that's gonna be dairy free. And we're gonna test it out, see which one's better, how they compare. And if it's a good dupe to have it with no dairy. So this long outro, just to say thank you so much for watching, for joining us while we try to spend some time staying safe at home. I hope everybody's staying safe as well out there. Stay in your home, be healthy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.